Welcome back, everyone. Today we're checking out three scary games, and the first one we're looking at is Pereldalon? Paraedalon. Whatever it is. But it's a nice little creepy liminal... I think it's liminal horror. I don't really actually remember what it was. It also won't open in full screen. Maybe maybe once we get into it, it'll like have like settings where I can, but yeah. Right now... Earth is getting a second moon for a limited time. Astronomers say an asteroid will come close enough to Earth to temporarily enter its orbit at the end of the month. Well, Earth will soon have a second moon. Going to briefly orbit our planet. It is called Asteroid 2024 PT5 is now orbiting Earth. That's pretty cool. This is very cool. Is that someone laying down? Oh, that's that me? Am I in it? What the hell? Is... What are these controls? This is so weird. There's no like... Oh. I can't deal with this right now. I need drugs. I need my drugs. There's somebody. Well, hold on. What's that? Uh, what? Uh, what is that? I want to know what that is. All right, what up, cowboy? You got drugs? Hey, I see that gleam in your eye. How about trying something new? I've got this new drug called Umala Conserve. First, hit this free. Okay. Is it good? Did I get the drugs? Can I pick up that thing now? Hell yeah, I did. What do I do with it? Am I gonna hit this guy with it? Hey. I guess not, okay, that's good. I mean, I had to check, you know? I didn't, I didn't know what else to do. Well, was there... This, these controls are so weird. I like it though. So what do I do with this wrench? Oh, I guess I didn't actually... Yeah, I could do this. Oh, I broke it with that. Oh. So we're just out here. How far can I explore? Oh, I can just go... Down the sidewalk. Wait. I'm at the same spot. Crosswalk? Can't do crosswalk? Oh, I just needed to go. Oh, it's just looping and you go. You just keep going around. What the shit was that? Oh, I'm back in the alley. I like how there's like a fence here like oh you can't go but you could just walk around it in the street okay this shit is fucking weird is that the cowboy oh it's a police officer hey you you've got to help me he's he's dead there's there's something in the in the sky and it, and it... what the hell is your problem <laughs> I, I don't know i clicked on it i was like don't don't shoot me oh i got I'm just gonna shoot that fucking thing?
What? I have a do I have a knife now? What is that? Oh, I hate it. What did I get? I don't even know what that is. I got something. Do I go back to my little alleyway? Oh, oh, I went through this door. I can't go that way. What the fuck did we just play? That was the weirdest shit in the world. So was it just the drugs I took or was it legitimately like... I mean, clearly there's something there, but is that real? What's SP mean? I don't know. Is that just part of... Is that on all, like, VHS? Does it say, like, SP? I don't really know. I haven't looked at a VHS... in like 11 years, I think was the last one. Um, I liked it, but man, was that fucking weird. So strange. Uh, and also, I, I, you had to search. You had to keep going around in circles until like that, that cutscene triggered, which was weird. Um, yeah. I wish it would have locked me out from going back into the alley. Uh because then I wouldn't have, like, went back in there and, like, traversed and, like, looked around and be like, oh, am I missing something? If it kept me going around in circles, then I would have hit that cutscene faster. Um, but still, crazy, weird, insane shit. I liked it, though. Very cool. Um, yeah, check out the link in the description to play this yourself. Let's move on to our second game. Corvin, Nu Corvin Rular presents The Stalked 2 Demo. Um... Oh, there's, like, story? What is that? You play as Rachel, an avid hiker. What begins as a relaxing hike to a cabin turns into a nightmare filled with eerie interactions and unsettling events. Will you survive? Um, okay, so I did not play the stalked one or the stalked one demo, I don't think. Maybe I did. I, I feel like I didn't, though. Um, but I think the stories are different. Like, both of them, like, each one's its own set. Like, one's about being stalked. It's like it's a story about being stalked, and this is a different story about being stalked, or something like that. That's my understanding of it, but uh, we'll have to see. Let's jump into it. Let's start the day by taking my usual morning vitamins from the bedside table. Remember to press space to continue. Okay, let's take some vitamins. Look at this nice little house you have. You know, uh, I looked at a house once. It... it it was like a uh, uh, like an A-frame type house, um, and the top was like one of these these bedrooms where it's just like loft where it's open, um, and it was cool, but it gave me the creeps to just have you didn't have doors or walls really. I mean, you had a wall on each side, but I I don't know just just having an open like a bed in the middle of like a room. 
that isn't enclosed is just super strange to me. I don't know if anyone else gets that feeling. I have seen these. But it's a weird, it's a weird setup. Before I start packing for the hike, I should read through the ad one more time. I left on my glass table. Okay. Um, especially, yeah, like, look. Look at, like, people could see you from there. But, I mean, they're, they're far away, so it wouldn't be that weird. This is a really nice house. I guess, fully, this would... I mean, it's similar to, like, a, um, a studio apartment, right? Where, like, your living room is technically your bedroom, like, type situation. Hey there, feeling stressed and need a break from the chaos? If so, then this is the perfect place for you. It's perfect for getting away from everything and finding some peace for only $25 a night. Jeez, that's only $25 a night for that nice-ass cabin? Perks include wake up to the sound of birds chirping. How do you know? Like, are you guaranteeing there's going to be birds chirping there? Fresh air. No noisy neighbors or annoying roommates, just you and nature. No Wi-Fi. Finally, a chance to unplug and re really relax. Eh. You might fall in love with this place and never want to leave. P.S. Don't forget to bring your morning vitamins. They really help start the day off right. Book your stay now and give yourself a break you deserve. Trust me, it's worth it. Yeah, it's a bit strange, but whatever. Let's start packing for the hike. My backpack's downstairs. It is weird, right? Especially because you just said you take morning vitamins. It's like the ad was specifically for you. Cookies. fuck was that noise was that just the floor creaking because i was there you should close these by the way this is a nice chair we have one of these um we got as a wedding gift um it's super cozy and comfortable that's a cool little fountain i'm sorry are you really gonna leave with your just your back door open like that I want to bring the new book I bought. It should be upstairs. Then why didn't you bring it down with you? You were already up there. I even looked at it. Finally, let's go pick up some... Oh, shit. I clicked too fast. Groceries, I think is what it said. I really want to close these doors. You're going to give me anxiety leaving these open. Oh, fine. Whoa. This is an odd little, like entryway well, i'm not ready to leave yet oh i need a pack grocery i have groceries that i need to put in here you mean cookies uh all of this just a can of tomatoes you don't want any sauces you don't want a soda you didn't drink soda all right mm. really bothering me really bothering me <laughs> ah! Oh, it sucked even worse is that I sprinted at it myself. Hey, you still haven't paid rent. It's been two months. I will have to evict you. Hi, no need to come at me like that. I promise I will pay it all soon. Give me a couple more days. Fine, this is your last chance. You have three more days. That's enough. Thank you. Then you shouldn't be going on this little thing. The $25 you should be putting towards... Like, don't do this. If you owe rent, don't go on a fucking like mini vacation like this don't do that finally here that was a long drive let's get moving while there's still light out this is nice though but still you you don't do that oh up here is this it no, no, this is a rando. Follow the trail. I think the trail is that way, but hello. Hey, how's it going? Oh, hi there. I'm just taking a small break. I'm on my way home. I see you. What are you doing out here? I was staying at a cabin. It's an awesome place. I'm Elizabeth, by the way. I'm actually heading there right now. Nice to meet you. I'm Rachel. You still have quite a bit to go before you reach it, but I'm surprised to see you out here all alone. Why is that? You haven't heard the stories? They say there's a killer on the loose. It's probably nothing, but you might want to keep your guard up. Better get going now before it's too late. Uh, I hope you have a nice trip. Thanks. Was I actually going the right way? And I was supposed to follow her? Killer on the loose? Why would there be someone like that here? Let's keep moving a bit before setting up camp. Um, I mean, she was here by herself, right? 
Also, I don't think I don't think this was the way I was supposed to go. I mean, unless this is the trail I'm following. Oh, this might be the trail I'm following. But there was a trail along the lake, so I didn't know if that was the way I was supposed to go. It's probably time to start setting up camp for the night. I can cover the final distance tomorrow. What? So you're not even staying at the cabin? Tonight? What the? Why? Why didn't you get here sooner? Let's read a bit of the new book I bought before going to sleep. Oh, I need to click space. That's what I need to do. Uh, okay. Click it. Also, your tent doesn't have a floor. It's just like a wrapping over. One hour later. Wow. Can't believe the... Oh, it does have a floor. It didn't before, did it? Press the left mouse button to get up. Who's out here this late? Let's grab the lantern and check it out. Yeah, let's do it. Press F to turn on lantern. Lantern should have already been on. Check around the tent. Okay. What's that? Looks like a family photo? Maybe someone just dropped it by accident while walking by? Hey, that's the girl. Oh yeah, they casually just put that next to your tent. They casually just, whoops, here's a photo I dropped. Huh, I forgot to close the tent last night? You didn't. I specifically closed it. Well, whatever. Let's take vitamins and go to sleep. That's not something you would forget, by the way. I think I would leave. Hundred percent. Although it is really nice right now. So you would be like, well, I made it through the night, so obviously I'm safe. That's what they want you to think. Lots of little toadstools around. If this cabin is like five feet away, I'm gonna be like, really, you didn't walk the whole distance? Ah! It's really luring me into a fucking false sense of security here. <sighs> Excuse me, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Hey, before you go, I'm curious. Were you staying at the cabin? Yeah, it was uh, cozy. You had there? Yeah, is something wrong? No, it's nothing. Just be careful. You're not going to mention that you have a photo of him and also the girl you saw earlier? Look at this fucking cabin. Look, I can see the cabin from here. It's literally 10 feet from where you were. Maybe you got here like a day early. That'd be weird, right? Someone else is staying in the cabin. You get there a day early and you're just sleeping outside the cabin. Just be like, oh yeah, the, the next guest is just sleeping outside till we leave. That would be weird. <laughs> oh, I'm, I think I'm going like the dumbest way to get to this cabin. The trail is kind of hard to see, all right? Not really. I mean, it's clearly rock right here. Tried to take a little shortcut. Didn't work. Finally here. This place looks awesome. Let's explore and check out all the places. There's even a balcony. <gasps> there is. <gasps> Look at this. A nice shed with a scythe. And the weirdest... I mean, this is a weird hook blade, right? Like, it's, it's like it would be a machete, but then has a hook blade on the end. That's crazy. A mallet. That's chest. And a log saw. I don't know if that's what it's called, but... Ooh, an axe. This is nice. I don't know why you would ever use that to actually, like, cook or anything. Oh, my God. Do I have to poop in an outhouse? I have to shit outside? What's that? Oh, those are just the bolts. 
Do you want me to take a bath in that? There better be running water in an actual bathroom inside. I mean... I mean, you know, I get I get wanting to, you know, to just chill. But give me, like, running water and shit. Uh, this is really nice, by the way, though. Horseshoe. Hmm. Shouldn't you be facing up? Because this is bad luck. Let's open those guys up. Let the sunlight in here. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I definitely have to shit outside. I love this place so far. Let's make some food. I'm getting really hungry. Yeah. I mean, the, the kitchen is just a stove outside. So hopefully you brought like a can opener or something for your cans. Oh, there's like a little stove here. You put wood in there. Oh, that's not bad then. And there are pots and like a coffee maker thing there. That's that's pretty nice. I didn't see any running water, which makes me think that you'd have to boil water. Unless you brought bottled water. While this is cooking, I can light the lantern and the candles. Yeah. And I put that photo here. I don't know what to do with the lantern. Okay, well now that it's getting dark, I do want to close these. Because it is kind of creepy. Now. Uh, so we lit that one. You think electric would be safer than lighting uh, all these candles and stuff in a in a log cabin? Let's also light up the shed and the outhouse. Well, yeah, that does make sense. That does make sense. Uh, I'll keep those. Those ones up there aren't creepy. So there's still one guy we haven't seen in the, the picture. Um, oh, that's tall up there. How are you going to get up there? Yeah, okay. Why is the music being creepy? But yeah, there is... Yeah, close that. Uh, there's one guy we haven't seen who's in the picture, which is odd. Excuse me. Don't be doing me more jump scares. Why is everyone sprinting at me? Feels much cozier with the candles and lanterns lit. The food should be ready now. Uh oh yeah, the um it's very weird that it takes her three match strokes every single time. She really needs to commit to using to getting it on the first try, you know? It's getting late. Let's light the fire and warm things up. Yeah. Let's do it. There should be a light over here. But I guess this is going to be... Oh, uh, there's no wood in here. I'll have to get some. This is not how you... I guess if there's handles on the side, maybe this is how you would do it. Oh, I hate this. Oh, hell no. No. It's not like that fence actually fucking... What the fuck is that? Is my lantern going out? I can't see. It's just so dark. Okay, get the... I'm trying to get the wood. Finally, my lantern seems to be back normal. Let's collect the last pieces quickly. I'm starting to get freaked out. I mean, yeah, you should. This is an insane thing that you're doing. Just staying in your Oh, fuck you. Now, it's you again. Do you happen to have my family photo? I've been looking for it. Hi again. Don't sneak up on like me like that. You almost gave me a heart attack. Yeah, it's in the cabin. Oh, you do? That's awesome. I lost it earlier and thought I'd never find it again. Can you go get it for me? Yeah, of course. I'll be back in a second. Okay, I'll be waiting here. Yeah, yeah. Axe. I would pick that up as I would pass. Whoosh, grab it. This is definitely his family photo. Let's return and get this over with. He's creeping me out. Hey, buddy. 
Thank you. This is the exact picture I was looking for. I'm sorry that I took it in the first place. I don't know why I did that. That's okay. Have a nice night. Maybe fate will bring us together again. Yeah, you too. Uh, I guess we'll find out. Don't say that. Still have wood outside. Let's grab it and get the fire going. Fuck this place. I'm not lying. This axe, 100% sleeping next to me. And that hook saw. I would double, uh, yeah, two weapon fighting. Also, I would lock this. Let's lay down on the couch and watch the fire a while. That's it? That's all you're gonna do? Oh, facing that. Oh my god. I've got no body. Oh, I'm drifting to sleep. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm dead. Definitely gonna die. There's a fire poker. Should I look around? It's morning. It's morning? Looks like I fell asleep on the couch last night. I need my vitamins. They're in my bag. Boom. Lantern. I guess it is morning. I don't really need it. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Already feeling better. Those vitamins kind of get you. Hi? What's going on? Enough. They made everything black and white. The fuck was that? Oh. If you enjoyed it and would like to support me further, please consider wishlisting on Steam. Oh, I will. I might check out the, the first one, too, because this was awesome. The scares? Insane. The jump scares got me every time. This was so good. Uh, yeah, we might do a, um, play the demo of the first one, and then check out the full game. Uh, or, I bet the demo's in the full game, so I might just do that. Uh, very cool. Loved it. Great stuff. I mean, it definitely, it gives you that Fears the Fathoms vibes, uh, but without, like, a VHS-type filter going on it. Um, uh, which I, does Fears the Fathom really have that? They have a filter on it, like a grain filter, uh, which this was clear in nice um without it but still very cool uh yeah check it out link in the description below let's move on to our third and final game all right the third game we're checking out is the walk it was late at night i was driving on a secondary road to visit some friends who lived in a remote village far away from everything i had been to his house a few times in the past and the route was very tiring i was already very tired of driving when i was passing through a tunnel and heard a loud noise coming from inside my car. Seconds later, smoke started coming out of the front of the car. I got out of the tunnel, pulled to the side of the road to see what had happened to the car. After looking for a while to see what had happened, I realized that the engine had suffered severe damage and I'd not be able to continue driving. I thought, what bad luck I had. I'll be late to my friend's house when I realized that I was in a town very close to my friend's house. Okay. I decided to look for a place to sleep tonight in this town called Nominal Town. Is that an exclamation point? E. R. I need to find a flashlight as soon as possible. Is that what it... Is that what it says? Like, it says it needs to... Find a flashlight? Did I just steal someone's flashlight? Find a place to stay overnight. Okay. Is this my car? This is my car. So those were just instructions on what I needed to do. Can I knock on someone's door? I don't think I would, right? You kind of just hope to find, like, um, something. Hey, you. Hello, str Oh, it's a blind man. Hello, stranger. What are you doing so late at night on the street? How do you know I'm a stranger if you're blind? 
Alright, my name's Matt. I just had a breakdown on my car. Uh, it sounds really bad. By the way, my name's Cooper. Nice to meet you, Cooper. Do you know if there's any, by any chance, there's a motel I could stay at for the night? Uh, I'm sorry to tell you, there are no motels in this town. It's very small. Uh, I'll have to keep walking then. May I ask where you want to go? I was on my way to a friend's house at the end of town. Eh, strange. I think your friends are, I think your friends are fooling you. Why do you say that? At the end of town, there's nothing. Well, I've already been to my friend's house several times before. Son, I don't know if it's because you're tired or what, but at the end of this town, there's nothing. I'm telling you that there is. As you wish. If you want, you can stay at my house overnight. No thanks, I don't want to be late to my friend's house. As you wish, son. Be careful around here. There are a lot of crazy people. Thanks for the advice, Cooper. Bye. Goodbye. Yeah, that's odd, right? Like, at the end of town, there could be another house. There could be another house, right? Like, the end of the town doesn't mean there's just nothing there. There could just... It could be the last house of the town. Uh, Reed, I'm very hungry. I need something to eat. I love that these notes are just telling me stuff about myself. Do you flicker or was it my flashlight? What up, dude? Darwin, welcome to my store, stranger. Hi, I saw this store open and I got a little hungry. Here you have a wide selection of things to eat and drink. Thank you, I'll take a look, at, look around. When you're finished, come back and pay. Understood. That's all you need? Yeah, these cereals will, will take away my hunger. By the way, where are you heading so late at night? I'm going to a friend's house at the end of town. Walking? Yeah, my car broke down. That one lucky. Yeah, I know. You said you're going to your friend's house at the end of this town? Yeah, why? At the end of this town, there's nothing. Listen, why do people keep saying that? What does that mean? He could be the last house of the town. This is the second person to tell me the same thing today. I don't know what you're getting at, but I'm warning you that nobody's dared to go to the end of the town for a few years now, kid. What do you... Why? Why don't you just go? What is that? that the, what is the end of town? The end of town could be anywhere. And why is that? It's believed that five years ago, a demon possessed a man who lived in a house hidden in the forest. That's just a legend, right? Well, no idea. Nobody dares go to the end of the village in case something happens to them. Well, I don't think anything will happen. I'll just... It's just stories to uh, scare children. Well, a year ago, a girl decided to go investigate and never seen again. That's scary. But I don't think it was because of something demonic. I'll go on my way. As you wish, but be careful out there. There are a lot of crazy people in this town, especially now that it's nighttime. Thank you very much. How much do I owe you for the cereal? Maybe $4. Here you go. Have a nice night. Thank you. You too. I'd be like, Darwin, can I just... Give me my cereal. Darwin, can I just leave? Fucking, what was that? The fuck just happened? I think I'm going crazy. Hey, Darwin. I think you're right. Also, my flashlight turned on by itself. I didn't click that. Uh, read. Oh, I can't read it. Oh, hold on, hold on, R. There we go. From this point in the village, there are no more street lamps on the street. Why could that be? Is this, are these, are these just like my thoughts written down on paper? All right, I'm gonna go fast by going sideways like this. We're making it, yeah. What the fuck was that? Ooh, a camera. There's a video camera in the car. Should we break in and steal it? Shit, the flashlight ran out of batteries. I need that camera as fast as possible. What? Just go that way. You can probably go buy batteries from Darwin over there. Okay, I'm definitely a thief now. Okay. 
So we're just night vision goggling this, huh? Can I zoom? No. Maybe I can. No. Hello, trash. Fuck out of here with that. Garbage should be dumped here by all neighbors. What? Okay, so the notes aren't just shit in my mind? Notes are actually notes? Or was that just me saying, this is where garbage goes? It's an odd thing to say, if it was me. Alright, I'm seeing a fucking creepy little demon running around. Hey, you. Hello? Lady? You okay? Shit, move, lady. Oh, fuck, my head hurts. Shit, I think she's dead. What the shit? Oh! Everything was a lie from the beginning. That blind man warned me about this. Also, that man in the store. What I've just witnessed is that girl who was never seen again. Thanks to the blind man who ran over the demon, I'll be fine now, right? Right, isn't it? Hold on a second. Are you saying the blind man got in a car and just drove down the street? There was a demon who was going to kill me. But he ran over it. That's insane. That that's This was a wild ride <laughs> of, a, of a game. Creepy, though. Gave me some scares. Yeah. Um, yeah, I definitely tried to record like three other videos. This is an hour long, right? But it's because I was, like, trying to find other videos. Because I tried to record two other ones. The first one was a game I already played. And I didn't realize till like, midway through. And I was like, wait, I, I played this. I, everything looked familiar. Um, and the second one was just not good. Um, and I was like, yeah, no, just not. There was no sound. And it was very, there was no animations or something. It was super weird. Um, but, yeah, all three of these games, A+. Plus, loved them. Uh, yeah, check them out. Uh, with the links in the description below. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Trying to get to 10,000 subscribers. Check out the playlist above for three scary games or any of the other vi playlists or videos on my channel for some nice scares. We also do chill weekend games, so you can check those out as well. That's all I got. I hope you enjoyed. Have a wonderful evening, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>